finding your sides. Uh, Ali Kramer is outside of UC Medical Center where some of those victims were taken. Again, 15 people hurt, one person killed. Uh, Ali, what can you tell us this morning? Good morning, Tamika. We know that eight people were taken here to UC Medical Center and uh, not surprising because UC is the only level one trauma center here in the area. So it is safe to understand that some of the most seriously injured victims were actually taken directly here to UC. We walked inside the emergency room absolutely packed with people waiting right now and some of those friends and family are actually spilling out and waiting outside. Several of them also we understand waiting in their cars for updates on friends and family members and again, in talking with UC, Kelly Martin uh, with the UC Medical Center here tells us eight people from that shooting have been taken here to UC Medical Center. She says four of them in stable condition, three in serious condition, and one right now in critical condition. And she continues to provide those updates for us so that we can understand just how many people are being treated. The rest of those victims taken to other area hospitals, Christ Hospital, which their emergency room is not nearly as busy in the overnight hours. Mercy Anderson, which is again close to that scene, uh, much closer certainly I think than here. And then of course Bethesda North Hospital as well. So several emergency rooms really working uh, to collaborate uh, and be able to treat all of these victims. Tamika. How much and again you mentioned that they are a level one trauma center meaning that they are able to handle uh, these critically injured uh, victims in this case um assuming that all of them do have critical injuries uh, what have police been able to tell you if anything at all about have they been able to talk to any of these people are they conscious are they alert do we know anything at all have they been able to talk to anybody no no, Tamika, hopefully that's exactly what they're doing right now. And it's common to see Cincinnati police back in the emergency room. And, and it's a very large emergency room. So certainly that's what they're getting done now, particularly with those four people who are in stable condition, but serious condition and one person in critical condition. Certainly uh, they're working on those people and not uh, conducting those interviews yet. But that's why we're going to stay on scene and we're going to check in with Cincinnati police here in just a few minutes. All right, Allie, thank you so much for that report. We will check back in with you in a little while. In the meantime,